I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw John Cabot, the Italian navigator and explorer. I take one finger right here in the center and I put a dot. And from that dot going towards the left, I'm going to draw a slightly wavy line diagonal. Come up to the dot, slightly wavy line diagonal. Come back to the left, little straight diagonal in on the left, little straight line diagonal in on the right. Come back to the left and we're going to draw a little line slightly wavy across and down to the right and then back up over and connect. I come right here on the left and I'm going to draw a straight diagonal down, curve line up, straight line up, connect on the left, come over here on the right, straight diagonal down, curve line up, straight line, connect. I come right back here on the left and I'm going to draw slightly curved line down, straight diagonal up, straight diagonal down, slightly curved line up, connect. I come right here on this point on the left and I draw a big curved line down off the page on the left. I come on the right, big curved line down off the page on the right. I come back to the left and I draw a curved line, curved line, curved line, curved line off the page. Come back up and we're going to do it again. Curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line off the page. Jump over, same thing on the right. Curve line, curve line, curve line down off the page. Come back up. Curve line, curve line, curve line down off the page. I come back here up at the center and I'm just going to draw a straight diagonal curve line, leave it floating. Come right underneath, little curve line, little curve line, leave it floating, little tiny curve line underneath. Come right here on the right, curve line up, back, connect on the right, curve line up, back, connect on the left. Come back to the right, curve line, curve line up, connect, jump over on the left, curve line, curve line up, connect. Inside this space, one, two little curve lines, come on the right side, one, two little curve lines. Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is take my black and color in this space on the left, this space on the right. This is a hat, so I'm going to color this in black and this part black. I love the shape of this. Way cool. Then I jump all the way down and everything is black on the bottom. All of their suits, this is like the 14, 1480s, 1490s, if you, and he's Italian, so they all wore the same kind of dark clothing. His hat makes him a little bit more stylish, but this is all black. And I think they wore black a lot because it didn't get as dirty as some of the colors are white. So this is all black. Then, this is a major gold chain. So I'm making mine yellow. All the way down on the left. Jump over. All the way down 
on the right. Now, if you have multicultural crayons, you can fill in this space with apricot or peach. If you don't have them, just leave it white. But what's interesting about him is that he's got a major beard and mustache and eyebrows. So I'm going to use gray. I'm not real sure what color everything was, but I'm going to use gray and loop de loop. This is on the right. This is part of his hairdo. Remember, this is 1400s. So it's going to look a little bit strange. He's got a mustache, so I'm just going to loop-de-loop -loop a little bit there. But this is all beard. This is all beard. So I'm going to make that all gray. He's rocking a major beard, which they did back then. Then, if you do have multicultural crayons, you might want to put a little bit of color right there. Now, because this looks kind of dull, I took my red and did some red stripes in the background. And I took a green and put that in between. And these are Italian colors. Okay? Alright. Let's see what he looks like all colored in. Okay, this is John Cabot, all colored in. In 1497, he was one of the first to do a voyage to North America. He discovered Newfoundland and developed transatlantic trade between England and America. And he was Italian. Okay, bye-bye.